So it's no lie that drummers love halftime shuffles. It has to be one of the most satisfying grooves to play and it just feels awesome when you get it down. But what if I told you there were secret halftime shuffles that I don't hear a lot of drummers play and it stops their groove sounding modern and interesting? Well, that's what today's lesson is all about. And make sure you stick to the end of the video because I'm going to show you my number one exercise for making these grooves actually musical and actually useful. But first, what is a halftime shuffle? Well, the clue is in the name. It is a shuffle that is halftimed. Let's take that, split it up, let's deal with what is a shuffle. Now the shuffle rhythm is just the first and last of our group of three triplets. Counted one triplet, you play the one and the let. The easier way to count that is to go one, ta, two, ta, three, ta, four, ta. Now to turn it into a half time, what we do is we stretch the bottom half of the groove while the top half, our hi-hat, stays exactly the same. So our bass drum and snare drum, which were quarter notes, now become half notes, and the kick is on the one and the snare is on the three. And it sounds like this. Now that we've half timed our shuffle, there's more space between the kick and the snare, and as such, we have more notes to play with, and that is the secret. These grooves have a spacing of six notes, i.e. there are six notes from the kick drum before you play the backbeat. So now all we need to do is find things that are gonna fit into our six notes. And I've got three for you today, but honestly, you could do anything you want. You just have to get a bit clever with what your hands do, and some of them are a bit hard. So to start with, let's do number one, which is gonna be doubles. Now doubles are usually played a 16th note. We're just gonna shift them into triplets. One, trip, lit, two, trip, lit, and as if by magic, the left hand is on beat three. So now just take the right hand, put it on the hi-hat, ghost everything except the three, and put a kick on the one, and you get this awesome sounding halftime shuffle. Here's a little extra idea. Invert those doubles to the first inversion. So now instead of right, right, left, left, right, right, we're gonna have right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right. Now that sounds really, really cool played in exactly the same way as we did before. Okay, number two is gonna be right, left, right, left, left, kick. A great little fill idea that you can play around with, an awesome stick in that just sounds really cool, but it sounds really nice as a groove. So right hand on the hi-hat again, left hand on the snare drum, but this time there is no left hand landing on beat three, so we're gonna to have to add it in. So right, left, right, left, left, kick. Both left, right, left, left, kick. Put the kick back on the one and it sounds like this. So if you're liking this video and you're learning something new, make sure you hit the like button and hit subscribe if you feel so inclined. But if you really want to support the channel, best thing to do is head over to davemajormusic.com, which is my online drum school, where you can access courses on subjects like this and a whole lot more. There's courses designed to help you practice smarter, understand how to develop ideas and master them once and for all, and basically play the drums with a lot more freedom. If you do want to check it out, click the link in the description below. 
and I'll see you in there. And number three, it's one of my favorite stickings, right, left, left kick. That's four notes long. What we're we gonna do with it? Well, we're gonna turn it into triplets and that fits three times into a bar of eighth note triplets. The seventh note, is the second left of the second time around that sticking. So we get a pull out accent, one of the hardest things to do on drums, but definitely worth practicing. So the sticking is right, left, left, kick, right, left, left, kick, right, left, left, kick. What I like to do though, is substitute the kick drum for a left foot. So you actually get right, left, left, left foot, right, left, left, left foot, right, left, left, left foot. Chuck a kick drum on the one and you get a really cool sounding groove. Now what I like to do is go between the kick and the left foot to give me some variation and just to play around to have a bit of fun. So definitely try alternating between the kick drum and the left foot. Now I promised at the start of this video I would show you the number one exercise to make these things musical because that's so important, otherwise it just sounds like noise and you may as well just be a robot playing the drums. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an adapted gridding permutation system. Now if we're playing halftime shuffles, if we're playing anything like this, then we're not really going to play the middle triplet on our bass drum. Usually if you listen to all the famous examples of halftime shuffles such as Rosanna, Fool in the Rain, Home at Last or Babylon Sisters or anything else, it's going to be either ones or Taz, swung eighth notes basically. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place a bass drum on the one, and then we're gonna add another bass drum. So the one stays where it is, we add it on the next swung eighth note, the ta. Then we shift that extra bass drum along to the two, then the ta of two, then the three, I had to work that out there, then the ta of three, the four, and the ta of four. So let me show you that underneath a basic halftime shuffle, and then I will do it under doubles, just very slowly, because it's quite hard. Now those are my three secret halftime shuffles, which will just make your groove sound more interesting and more musical. But the key to those grooves is the hi-hat. So if you wanna master the hi-hat, go over and watch this video, which will teach you how to get a great sound, no matter the groove that you're playing. See you next time. The important thing is to be musical, not just be a fancy robot drummer from the 2000s. I don't know why I did that. <laughs>